This is my dad's 1955 Cushman Eagle, model 765-10. My dad bought it used when he was in high school, and he graduated high school in the late 1960s. He rode this bike throughout high school, through college, and even after college for a while. It was his primary transportation. It's always been on the to-do list to fix it back up, but he never got there. So I went over to his house, picked it up, and brought it back over to my house so I could start working on it. The first thing you'll notice is that it's sitting on a block of wood. That's because the kickstand bracket is bent and broken. My understanding is that when he was riding it, he used to drive around with a brick on the floorboard so that when he came to a stop and parked it, he could stick the brick under the frame to keep it from falling over. This is the exhaust system that is uh, non-original. The muffler may be, but the connecting pipe between the exhaust manifold and the muffler itself was something that my dad and a friend did in welding class in college. That's the drive chain draped around the headlight. The transmission had already been taken off of the bike at, the, at this point. The tail lens uh, is missing. I remember breaking that when I was little. It's a glass tail lens. I took a bunch of pictures of the bike when I first picked it up because I wanted to be able to reference them in case I couldn't remember how something was supposed to go together. It has a 2 and 7 eighths bore uh, Husky engine in it, and it's got the low lift cam in it, so I think it's rated for around 5 horsepower. This is the transmission. It's a 2-speed transmission. Some very old, very dirty gasoline. And the colors are or at one time were maroon and white, the colors of Mississippi State. Here you can see uh, on the intake for the carburetor, that's two or three layers of metal screening, the same type of screening that you would put into a screen door. Uh, that was a substitute air cleaner. You can also see the brown wire wrapped around that. Uh, the entire wiring harness was redone at some point and appears to have been made out of old extension cord. Both of the running boards or uh, footrests are supposed to swivel up and down, but they are both seized in place, rusted in place. You can see this is the uh, backside of the front fork cover and toward the top you can see a six volt motorcycle battery dad put that in there so that his lights would be brighter but this bike doesn't have a generator or, or an alternator so he would have to drive it bring it home park it and put it back on the battery charger every evening so that he would have bright lights the next day this is a close-up of the clutch and the throwout bearing Here you can see at the top, the top of the spark plug is cracked off. This is a close-up of the rear uh, tail, uh, tail light assembly. You see the bike is very rusty, but um, so far as I've dis disassembled it, it seems to be very solid. This is after I've removed the flywheel. Uh, this is a 6 volt Phalon ignition system. The top black coil, that's for your spark plug. The other three smaller coils are for the lighting system.
This is the flywheel side of the engine after I've removed it uh, from the bike. I've also removed the flywheel and the ignition system. Here's a close up of the intake and exhaust manifolds after I've removed, or in ports after I've removed the manifolds. This picture is not in focus. I wish it was. I've removed the head and you can see some scratches in the top of the piston. That's when I was, that's from when I was little. I used to take the spark plug out, stick a screwdriver down into the spark plug hole and scratch it around. So it doesn't matter because that piston, um, it was a 10 one thousandths. So the engine had, it was 10 one thousandths oversized. So the bike had already been rebuilt once at some point. I've bored it out and it's now has a uh, 21 thousandths over piston. So more scratches. This is the clutch side of the bike. Um, I've removed the clutch and you can see the sleeve that the clutch needle bearings uh, ride on. In the bottom right you can also see the 1955 uh, tag that's uh, attached to the block. So that's it for now. I will be posting more pictures and videos as I progress.